It's been a while, my friend. I haven't seen you for ages. <laughs> because we've been on the road traveling around, but I haven't done a Facebook Live with you guys for a long time. So hi, everybody. Hope everybody's good. Yes, indeed. So everybody, um, we're going to log on. I'm going to look on the phone and see who's here, who's going to be joining us and all of that good stuff. So please file on in. Um, we're very excited to have you all here. One of the great things we're doing today is the wigs that we're showing, we're going to be having a giveaway. So just ask your questions. Let us know what you want to know as we're presenting the wigs. And just by asking a question, you'll automatically be entered into winning one of the styles that we're featuring today. Yeah, what a fantastic deal. And I'd say we got some beautiful styles to show you. We do. All you got to do is give us that question. One of these gorgeous wigs could be yours. And you know what? I'm just excited about this range. We've had such a great response about the Gabor designer range. Yeah. And I can't wait to see them. I know. So what we're showing you guys today is the summer collection for Gabor 2023 designer series. Now, as you know, the designer series premiered earlier this year, but now we got even more styles for you. So we're very excited to show you this. So if you've liked what you've seen so far in designer series, I think you're going to like it even more when you see some of the new styles. Oh, absolutely. We were asked for more longer styles. We were asked for things with a bit more length, with more texture, yes. more body. And we've got that for you. Yeah. So, And not only that, we have <laughs> a fantastic guest yes. today who's going to also model these styles for us so you could see them on a lovely head. <laughs> because these mannequins are cute, but they're not quite the same as a human being, right? No. Right. And the human being that we have is fantastic. Yeah, she really is. I'm she really, is a I'm really great excited. model, and I'm so thrilled that we have Amanda. So thrilled. Absolutely. So I'm going to be looking for your questions, you guys. Um, come on in. Um, I want to say hi to Diane. I want to say hi to Michael Napolitano. Who's hey, hi, Michael. Michael. Um, we got Jackie joining. We have Lanita joining. We have Maria, Grace, and Anne. Thank you all for joining, and everybody else who's jumping on. Yeah, hi, everybody. Great. Thanks for jumping in. Just want to say the biggest thank you to anybody from the UK that's watching, because I know it's very, very late there. So hi to the UK that's and true. Euro. That's true. Uh -huh. Very late. Very late. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we got five brand new styles to show you. You can be entered to win, as we said, for any one of your choice today in any color you like. But before we go there, I want to introduce you to our very special guest today. You guys, please give it up. For Miss Amanda Holbeck, who's joining us from Shikel Hair. Amanda, come on in, girl. Coming in, Amanda. <laughs> Hi, guys. Can you hear me? Hello. How are you doing there, my friend? I am great. I am looking out a window at a almost thunderstorm here, and I'm looking at you guys. So two really fantastic views. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, we couldn't we couldn't feel any more different. I mean, we we feel just like you. It's so exciting to have you here. Um, I'm glad we had a chance to chat a little bit. You were traveling as well. So we had a chance to chat a little bit uh, yes. before the show today. And uh, first of all, let me just thank you for we talked about, you know, you coming on and you said, you know what, I want to come on with my natural hair, my natural self. And I want to thank you for doing that. Because until I really got to talk to you, I and mean, I've seen your Instagram posts, but I think there's a lot of people who are going to start following you and checking you out now after we've done this show, and they're getting to know you as well. And I, I mean, I just want to talk to you personally, because I know you've had your own journey with hair loss and discovering wigs and all of that. So can you tell us a little bit about how you kind of got into wigs and extensions and, 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 and everything that brought you to this point? Absolutely. This is like my favorite thing to talk about ever. Hair loss and wigs. I'm like, la, la, la. <laughs> so just, <you> know, <laughs> if I like take this whole hour up, then, you know, cut me off. But, you carry um, on. <laughs> so I started losing my hair to alopecia. Um, I, it started for me back in 2011, actually, when I was overseas. I used to live in London, in England, and I was overseas teaching there, and my hair just started to fall out. But I was in like complete denial that it was happening to me. I was like, nah, it's just, you know, a bad hair foliage day, yeah. <laughs> bad yeah. hair foliage month. And it just, it just kept coming out and I just kept brushing it off like, oh, whatever. And then suddenly one day I, you know, snapped to it and was like, oh my goodness gracious, half of my head is bald. Something is wrong with me. I am dying. I need to go to the doctor. So of course I went from like, so laxadaisical to like, oh my gosh, 
this is bad. So mm -hmm. I went, got it, uh, got myself checked out and was told I had alopecia. So from there, I went to, you know, the topical ointments, the um, yes. steroid injections, changing my diet, the different rubs, all the like voodoo. <laughs> Everything you could people. do or think of or research. And you did it all, I'm sure. I did it all. And, you know, for me, nothing was really working. Um, and so when I got to a certain point of, you know, like 70% of my hair was gone, I, I ended up leaving London because it was just a lot for me to deal with on my own. I went mm. back home to Canada. So I'm from Canada in Alberta. And literally the second I got home off the plane, the next morning, my mom and I went wig shopping. Um, and quite honestly, it was really perfect for me because everyone at home had no idea I was experiencing hair loss and to wow. that extent too. So I was able to, you know, live my hair loss life in London, come ah. back home, instantly buy a wig and nobody, nobody knew because- Yeah, no yeah. one clocked it. They just thought you changed your hairstyle when you were living abroad or and whatnot. Yeah, right? exactly. And I mean, I, the first wig I bought, like, oh Lord, <laughs> looking back at it now, I'm like, oh no, what have I done? <laughs> <laughs> but um I chose a style of course that was similar to what I was always used to and I mean I think that's something really important for a lot of new wig wearers to know like I think it's always best to start with a style that you that's close to your heart that you feel the most yeah, comfortable mm -hmm. with and that's going to help you kind of ease into it all um but after that moment I bought my first wig and that was in 2011 and I mean the rest is history. I yeah. wore wigs initially to cover up my hair loss and to hide right. from the world. And I probably was hiding for three, three and a half years until finally mm -hmm. I was like, okay, this is, this is no way to live. I, you know, I wasn't doing the things I loved. I wasn't, um, I wasn't as excited and open about life as I had always been yes. before. Uh -huh. So one day I was just like, you know what, mom, um, I talked to my mom about this. I'm like, I think I need to share my story. So then I actually ended up making a Facebook post that went like insanely viral. And then I was like, oh, shoot. <laughs> now <laughs> now, well, now yeah, that, yeah. I have to go with this. <laughs> uh -huh. And then since then, I just have been living my best wig life <laughs> and my best alopecia life. I like, yeah. I love my alopecia, to be honest with you. It's, it's truly made me into the pure person I am today. And oh, yeah, um, yeah. it's it's taught me so much about life and love and and I couldn't imagine myself any other way. Yes, mm -hmm. you know, man, it, it just makes an excellent point. That is the thing, right? Of all, any life challenge, whatever it is that you're facing, whatever, everyone has their own. As my uncle used to say, "Everyone has their own cross to bear." Right? Everyone has some challenge that they have to overcome in this lifetime, and I think that's true. Once you once you get over it, you can breathe and you can embrace your life and you can enjoy it in a different way. Um, once you've, exactly. once you've scaled, that's right. Scaled yeah. The hardship, right? Yeah, that's right. Once you get, listen, I think it's, um, working with wigs for so long, it's the worst thing that anybody can ever experience. And especially for a woman to lose yeah. her hair, you know, yeah. but there again, when you, when you look at Amanda and you know, you look fantastic with no hair as well as yeah. hair. And I don't know about you, Amanda, I'm saying to Frank, aren't you loving this time now for the wig industry? Because the stigma is completely alleviated about wearing wigs. They're a more of a fashion accessory now. Yeah. Absolutely, so yeah. for you to change it up, like changing hats and clothes and accessories is really helping somebody who's yeah. panicking Absolutely. about losing hair. Yeah. And yeah. the good news, Amanda, is you've got like two wackos like us <laughs> who Fantastic. love to work with wigs, yeah. who are working really hard to give you the hairstyles you want. Uh -huh. They're trying for you too. So you got, there's real people behind these creations, right? Yeah. So that's what, that's what we hope. And your, I mean, your Instagram, it's, it's Shaquel hair, right? You have it under Shaquel hair. Yeah. yeah Shaquel hair. And yeah. if, if you're ever on that, it's, it's really just all about me um, showing the journey um, going yeah. through, not only do I showcase wigs and toppers, um, but I also talk a lot about hair loss and my own journey. I think a lot of people see me on there and I think they think that, I was just instantly okay with my hair loss. And like, they're all like, always like, how are no. you so okay with this? But mm. I need, you know, I want everyone to know that I went through the same struggle that yeah. they did. Mine was just 10 years ago. And I yeah. am yeah. beyond that point now. 
And so yep. I want people to know through Shaquel uh, that there is hope for a more livable life with hair loss. And it's, yes. you know, it's not so bad after all. Yeah, yeah. no, and it helps. And your page is amazing. Yeah. And I Thank think you. that's helped. It helps yeah. a lot of people because there's going to be people even watching our show today. We get inundated with Instagram mm -hmm. messages with people just panicking about wearing the wig, you yeah. know? Yeah. And I think if I, for everybody who always says to me, they wish the wig was the first option instead of going down the lotions and potions well, yeah. option. Because <laughs> yeah. as soon as you find the right wig, you're off and running. Yeah. yeah. Well, in well, my experience in the salon was I used, I had, customers who were experiencing hair loss for many reasons, their first line of attack was extensions. So, and that doesn't always work because you need something to attach its extensions to, right? Mm -hmm. So you went right for the wig. So I think you were probably, you kind of skipped that step, which sounds very enlightening to me too. So for those of you who are watching, check out Amanda's page. You, got you can kind of follow her journey and you can see what she does now. And she's got tips in there. And it, I think it's just encouraging for anyone who's going through this in the beginning stages. Absolutely. Um, just to kind of visit and, and maybe you can get something from it. There's yeah. a lot of information out there. And so kudos to people like you, Amanda, who are so honest so we and raise open glass. about sharing that. Let's raise, <laughs> Let's raise the glass. We're going to raise the glass. <laughs> it's a happy hour. All right, Amanda. It so is. Today, I was feeling a little rosé. I usually do a martini, right? But, yeah. you know. Well, you know, you, you know you, you'll drink anything. Well, that's what they say. Okay. <laughs> and I'm, I'm just so over here I... with water because this is good for you. This is because my liquid life. Hydrate, Amanda. <laughs> yeah, whatever your tipple is, go you're going to be it. talking. You're going to be talking, girl. So be hydrate. There you yes, go. There you absolutely. go. Well, cheers, everybody. Cheers, everybody who's watching. Yes. Cheers, Amanda. Cheers. And um, let's cheers. get into the cheers, my friends. Cheers, Amanda. Yeah. <laughs> and, Thank uh, you. Let's get into these wigs. <laughs> let's get into these wigs. Yeah. Okay, guys. So as you said, we got. Our lovely Amanda here, who's going to show us these styles. We're going to show them to on these mannequins. The first one that we're going to show you in the Gabor Designer Series for 2023 summer is Best in, in class. class. That's this one right here. Yeah. Please. We started off with this one because Frank likes to go short to long. I know. So, I, you know? I don't know why. Is this yeah, a thing? He's a mis yeah, you, short to long. But this is the shortest one in the collection. Um, funny enough, I, I was in Canada, Amanda, and um we were talking and showing people we had a, a hey you were on the road there yes. you know and um we had a fantastic response yeah on this this range yeah. i think there's something for everybody there is it's the first time that we've de uh, designed and developed a wig with true to life fiber that we have added into gabor so this is kind of a, a new era and we've also are taking the styles and making them a little edgier for gabor putting a little more modernism modernism into them yeah that right i think i got that yeah. right. <laughs> that's right yeah and if you're people gabo is our classic range as we know we go into yes. a way into a 50 over 50 years now we've been the innovator of the you know the wigs and the designer wigs and gabo was classic yeah. and beautiful and we still have all that but people are loving true to life fiber yes so yes and i can speak to that too i love true to life fibers i know though that sorry okay i know that a lot You're of people still <laughs> are i'm still here I'm like oh shoot what did i do um a lot of people are scared uh by true to life fibers i don't know they, yes. they just get scared they don't know quite how to care for them properly yes. um and then they shy away from them but once you kind of figure it all out i i love true to life fibers yeah and and we'll we'll touch on that too because if you guys are watching out there and you want some like tips and tricks about true life fiber that'll just be coming naturally and organically through this whole hour I also want to mention really quickly, because I just saw this today, I'm in our corporate office here in Kansas City, and the new Gabor catalog is out. Oh, it's gorgeous. So you can see all these styles, plus the other ones that we that we also launched, they're all here in this catalog. It's a lovely catalog. Now, it's available digitally to everybody. All you have to do is go on to www.flipsnack.com. <laughs> backslash here you wear we're going to drop that information right in the comment section so you can go on and see this catalog right after we get off this show so it's available and it's out there um kathy wants to know or she says excited about the new gabor styles are they all 
in the new shadow shades. Yes, they are available in shadow shades, Kathy. Yeah. So hi, Kathy. I like that. I have a bunch of shadow shades here to show too on these styles. So awesome. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. And you guys, another thing that you want to check out, we have repackaged and modernized our packaging for our hair care products. So you might notice a change in the packaging, but you're not going to notice a change because it's still the same old good product you're used to. Yeah. So all that's in here. So check it out. All right. Show them best. Let's class. show. Now, yeah. Well, Amanda, think, you go on. Go put it yes. on. Go on. Put that on for us, my friend. Look at that. Love to see. Normally, some of our guests go off and put the wigs on. Amanda's putting them straight on for us. Yes. If you don't know what a shadow shade is, this is a fabulous example of a shadow shade. Yes. Yes. It just yes, means this... it's got a slight smudged root. Yes. This uh -huh. one is in uh, shaded ice latte macchiato. Yes, this beautiful. is the shortest one that we're launching. As you know, we're going from shortest to longest. It's the shortest one we're launching for summer 2023. And I love this because it's a very flattering shortcut. It's a shortcut that thinks it's long. I always say that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because you have this long sweeping fringe right into the front. So for anyone who is a little maybe self-conscious of their jawline mm -hmm. or wants to bring attention to it, make it look a little stronger, this long piece really brings definition to the jawline. And I think it makes it very charming and sophisticated. And then you've got this nice razor textured back in the nape, right? It's longer, so it covers your own bio hair if you have a, a neckline that goes a little lower. And again, a nice sweeping fringe in that. Yeah, beautiful. Now remember, with this uh, designer range, it's also got a lace front. Mm -hmm. So if you... With this wig, I love it because if you want to get that gorgeous bob effect, look, we can take that wisping yep. bang into the into the hairline, and then you don't have to have the bang or the fringe if you don't want it, right. which is beautiful. But what I'm liking, Frank, is look, I love this sort of wispy, oh, yeah. the wispiness of the fringe. Yeah, and you I can see even and Amanda, Amanda, lean forward again like you did. Show us that. That beautiful hairline there. Yeah, look that at is that. all. Every hair in that hairline, as you know, when you have a lace front, is hand tied. That's all done by hand, one hair at a time. So that's what gives it that nice, natural, believable look, right? So you are at liberty, like Amanda is now, to just sweep it off of her face, or you can wear it with the bang. Um, let's talk a little bit about the cap construction on Best in Class. Um, because that's important. Because if you're going to be wearing this for a while, you need to know how it's going to perform and what it does for you. So cap construction on this is you're going to notice that we have an ear to ear lace, right? So you can wear it off your face with confidence because that hand tied portion goes all the way. That mono area goes all the way down to your ears. We have the lace front as we were discussing right into the front. And then what we did with this is we added, we call it like a golf club part. It's a mono part that extends all the way into the crown. And the reason for that is it reduces the volume and gives it a more natural crown-like appearance. So we've thought about that and we brought that to this wig. Also, you get the beautiful stretch cap. Look at that. So whether you're, these are all average wig cap sizes, but whether you're a larger cap, it stretches to accommodate. And also if you are a smaller head shape and you go more on the petite side, look at this. You have these Velcro adjusters, hook and loop adjusters. You can just close that down. Lovely. So you can tighten it up a little bit in the nape if you need more tension. So that's what makes this such a beautiful cap, very easy to wear. Um, I'm also showing this for you all in the Fiery Copper. This is our GF 3129 Fiery Copper. Amanda, what color are you wearing today? This is Shaded Ice Latte Macchiato. So it's a nice, cool, yeah. rooted yeah. color. One of the coolest colors that there are for the for the shaded yeah. colors. My yeah, it's really my beautiful. favorite color blonde. I wish my own hair was that color. Every, I mean, I actually Frank does my, does my hair. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> on top of everything else. <laughs> so now it's my fault. His hair is it is it your color? Is it? It's not your color. Amanda. Every time I say to Frank, Frank. I want the color of the wig. Mind you, you did a good job on this. Thank you. I bleached it within an inch of its yeah, lace, yeah. that hair. <laughs> I literally <laughs> made boy running out the door before he does television. Yeah. <laughs> He's really meant to be a redhead. His hair pulls red crazy. Hey, my color is mahogany. We wanted to start with, we got beautiful reds in the collection. So we can put these together a little bit. You can see that, Frank. Yeah. Mine is mahogany. Yours is fiery copper. Fiery copper is more strawberry blonde. Yeah, I would say. Copper, uh, red copper base shot through the gold highlight correct going into shopping channel spiel now <laughs> and then mine is mahogany but it's a richer ruby yeah. warmer um 
still multi-tonal, but it's it's a warmer, darker yeah. red. Yeah. You know, and I think that's what the beautiful thing about, even though these are very similar colors, right? Um, different skin tones, they pair up well because of the multi-dimensional coloring inside each and every one. Like, you know, Amanda, you're wearing that beautiful blonde. Amanda's going to show some other colors too that are just gorgeous. But you're going to see that multi-dimensional tones, highlights, lowlights, really, no matter what color blonde she goes into, she's, she's going to look great in them. Yeah. So uh, Maria wants to know, does this style have permatees? This does not have any permatees. Okay, Maria? So you don't have to worry about it. There may, be, I, there may be a little bit at the very, very base of the West in the back here to give it structure, but nowhere into the <laughs> crown or front where you might yeah. find it to be a little too much. Who was right? that asking that lovely That point? was Maria wanted to know that. Hi, he, Maria. Yeah. Fun, something fabulous about the fiber, the true to life fiber, yeah. doesn't need so much permatees because exactly. it's, it really emulates real hair. So it's got that lift. Yes. And look at this. I'm just using a little bit of hair spray on oh, this yeah. rag and look yeah. how big we can exactly. get this you know if you want that really glamorous yeah. hair well it, absolutely and that's what um that's what michelle wanted to know she says does this true to life mean heat friendly yes this is heat friendly fiber all of the wigs in the gabor designer series are heat friendly fiber which means you can style them with heat implements now not too hot all the instructions are there those of you who have wig shops or those of you who are out there you know you can style them up to 350 degrees uh, with a curling iron or a flat iron. Do not surpass that. Um, only because it's kind of hard to come back from that. It, yeah. It, it, you make the set happen really fast. Yeah. I believe if you go into, um, you're going to get a wig and you want a curly wig, buy a curly wig. You know, if you want a straight wig, have a straight wig. Yeah. You know? I mean, here's the thing. When we, when we first launched Heat Stylable Fiber, we thought, well, you know, everybody's just going to style them and curl them and flat iron them and do all that. But what we really learned was people really don't want to do that. Yeah. <laughs> they just want to wear the wig the way they get it, you know. Yeah. I think it's so, nice if you want to bend, yeah, bend a fringe, yeah, customize. and cut into it, you know. Yeah. I don't know about you, Amanda. I mean, do you do a lot to your wigs and sort of style, or do you just sort of keep I to generally wigs? try to keep them in the style they come for as long as possible. And especially with the heat friendly ones, I mean, they can get frizzy a little bit at the ends more quickly yes. but i try my best to focus on the ends to help maintain those and then yes. sometimes i'll get to a point where like you know what i've worn this style long enough i'm gonna like do something crazy to it and then i'll like put heat on it yeah. and yeah. just go go to yeah. town <laughs> yeah yes. i mean just want to say it's not just this week is not just for, too big and glamorous you know um here you wear i absolutely adore our wet line yeah. um, i'm gonna spritz this guys because you know me I love to, <laughs> I like to make the wig not so set looking, yeah. as you know, because yeah. I like to shake this. So I'm going to blast this with a bit of conditioner spray and give it a really good shake. Give it a go. Yeah, and put it on the head. And look, we can get this really I love it. funky, modern, edgy look with it too, by just breaking yes. up the fibers. And this is know? what makes the fiber so great. This particular blend of fiber heat friendly fiber that we use for the Gabor designer series you're going to find is very moldable you can really just style it with your hands a little bit of product I love product too so I like to mess with it as well yeah so you guys this is the best in class this is the shortest one that we're releasing in this collection for this summer and we got four other ones four more, yeah we better get a yeah, before we move on I thought it might be good to note for everyone that all the wigs I'm putting on are just straight out of the box like I have not touch them so this is what you'll get right out of the box and oh, it really awesome. does not take a lot to make it into something like the only thing I've done right now is make the monofilament yeah. part more visible and yeah. this is a really great one because you can you know sleek it down a little bit if you want and you can also oh. get a lot of texture in it and a lot of volume even though there isn't really a ton of permatease. Like uh, yeah. like Frank was saying, there is a little bit of permatease at the base of the weft, right. but it's not overwhelming. It's a very natural amount and it's um, you can do a lot with this wig, I find. Yes, yes. You know, that's why we have so many styles because we know not a lot of people are gonna take the time to curl and twirl. But for those who like to customize, 
right? And tweak it. You can make these wigs your own just by maybe round brushing the front down a little bit. So there are options. So keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. I love curl and twirl. Curl and twirl. <laughs> I think we have a wig in curl and twirl. Twirl and curl. Um, let's see. Um, Lynette says, what product would you use for the heat styling? Well, I always think you should use a heat or thermal <clears throat> protectant, okay, to mist over the wig before you style it, okay? That'll help set it and it'll help protect the fiber. Um, so that's something to consider. All right. Okay, we're moving on. Okay. The next one we're going to show you. Let me just find the photo of this yeah. one. Do you know now. what? The brochure is it's the first time I'm seeing this brochure because I was away for a week and I just saw it and it's absolutely gorgeous. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, beautiful. I think so too. Okay, so the next one is the next longest. It's called Glamorize Always. This is a beautiful graduated bob with a more edgy appeal. The first one is a shorter one. It's very nice and soft. This next one is going to give you a lot of drama. So for our people out there who like a little drama in their life and you still like a short, edgy cut, then you should definitely check out Glamorize always. Yeah, now, beautiful, beautiful Bob. I yes. like, I love the weight on this. You know me, I like some hair oh, yeah. in wigs, you know? And look at this movement. Look how much body is in this. Yes. It's got lots of hair, but still very, very lightweight. Yes. I'll, I'll talk about the cap construction, Kyle, while you're getting that on your mannequin and while Amanda's getting it on. So this is a lovely wig. If you would like freestyling, you're going to love this. So here's the deal with the Glamorize Always. Again, we have our ear-to-ear -ear extended lace, right? So there you go. You can wear it off the face. This one has the lace front, as you can see, all in through there. And then you have this beautiful hand-tied top, okay? So that is going to give you lots of parting options, lots of flexibility. It's going to move very freely. And, of course, the personal fit cap, which is always unique to Gabor. You have velvet ear tabs on this, and you have the Velcro adjusters in the nape. So a lovely cap, very comfortable to wear. Um, you can just see Amanda has just... Put that on, and she is just running her fingers through it. That's all you should have to do. Amanda, look at the sides on Amanda. Look at this long face framing bob. It just is, but then you get that beautiful stacking in the back. Yeah. That's what I love about it. Breathtaking. Great bob, Amanda. I mean, I can see you yes, flipping that. I one. really love this one. And I mean, I know, Kyle, you said there's a lot of hair on this, but to be honest, this is very lightweight. Like, putting this on oh, my yeah. head, I'm like, oh, there's like, yeah, it's not heavy. Yes. I don't find there is a ton of hair, to be honest. It feels just really lightweight to me. Um, yeah, good. It says, That's what it we want to hear. <laughs> yeah, it can get a lot yeah. of volume too, or not. It's it's very versatile as well. Yeah, yeah this, this is what I love about the fiber, you know, because Absolutely. obviously we have to design them. For a bob, you've got to have a certain amount of hair, you know? So this, it's got Absolutely. just the right amount of hair for it to swing and hang. And it's just absolutely stunning. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, I mean, the whole idea, right? And one of the things that we're finding is that mid-length styles suit a lot of different people. But within those mid-length styles, everybody likes something different. Some people like this stacking. Some people don't. Some people want it all one length. So we've come out with a variety so that, you know, our wig shops don't have to tweak a yeah. basic bob for everybody. Mm -hmm. You have some options. And so you can select something that you really like or you feel is current for the moment and is fresh for the season. And then you can always ba go back to a class. Of course. You know? Yeah. I think this will never date. This I don't bob. think so either. This will never date. Yeah. It's really beautiful. Yeah. And like we always say, too, we try to design it here with Gabor just for every age of person, yes. you know? So this is going to suit yeah. anyone. Yeah. Or if you have a wig, store you know you know you know you're going to do a bomb with this yeah. fabulous bomb and this is you get that look at that lift you get right there through the crown so i want to let you guys know a little secret on how we did that okay let me show you the cap again on this so we didn't do it with permatease what we did is we have here we have the hand tied area and so what you're going to notice is right behind that we have a reinforced wefted area that reinforced wefted area is what gives you the bump that's what gives you the the kick so that you can get a little bit of that lift in the crown so for our people who like a little bit of va va boom in yep. the crown you can get it out of this you easy can easy peasy yeah really stunning and it's just enough amount amount of hair there, um, Amanda. Have you sort of snatched her back? So yes, you've got to I have like, like an obsession with like half of half downs. 
<laughs> yeah, I love that. So I just put this in a quick little cute little you know, thing. <laughs> that is gorgeous, yeah. my friend. I love it when people yes. just yes. You wear the wigs just like they're on hair, you know? Play. Yeah, yes. yeah exactly. It makes it so play. much more fun. Like I when I was in my beginning wig phases, I would just wear my wig the same every single day. And it was yeah. just, you know, I, it got old fast. And I got, what I was really sad about was um, I missed doing my hair and I didn't think that I could play with my wig. I thought it had to be that yeah. way, but it, like the world is your oyster, especially if you have a lace front and a mono top, like you can do all sorts of things with it. Oh, absolutely. People are asking me what this fabulous color is yes. that I'm showing. It's a brand new color which has really taken us by storm yes. because we want to design a proper white. This is called Arctic White. Yes. And it is the most stunning yes. white gray you're going to see. It's lovely. It's ba it was based on the model Carmen, if you must know. Mm. Um, so yeah, that is uh, Arctic White, which Kyle is showing. That's the GF56-1001. I am showing the Glamorize Always in the Golden Wheat. This is gf 1488 and you'll note this one does not have a root um you can see that right there it's uh it's just a lovely color this is a nice golden blonde with just some light highlighting in through the front um you know i i sometimes i i, I do roots so much and i know they're so trending and they're so on point right now but even sometimes myself i'm like nah, i'm not feeling a root sometimes you just don't feel like it. you know what funny if i was thinking about that too because i was looking at uh, the one of the air hostesses i'm always looking at hair <laughs> um, she just had you know classic um you know highlighted hair with yeah. no roots i thought you know what yeah i think it's um once in a while it's still fabulous yeah. you know yeah. it's still fabulous <laughs> amanda what color are you wearing because that looks fabulous on you yes you know this is one of my very favorite shadow shade colors uh this is shaded cappuccino so the gl12 slash 22 ss so it's just your kind of medium brown tone with some really nice ashy blonde throughout it all and of yeah. course the rooting in it and it's just uh, it's such a natural color and a really great in between I find between a brown and a blonde it's a really good transition color like if you're wanting if you are a brunette and you want to start to try blonde this is kind of right in between there so it's um yeah it's fabulous yeah <laughs> I love the color. color and it looks beautiful on you yeah. too Thank it's a great you. color Tammy um uh, Tammy hi Tammy thanks for watching Tammy wants to know um <laughs> does this wig have permatees in it and I'm going to tell you again um, you're going to find maybe a little bit in the back here, but this one really doesn't have a lot. You have to keep in mind, uh, Tammy, and anyone else who's watching, when we're talking about a hand-tied wig and we're talking with lace features, generally you're not going to find a lot of teasing unless we're trying to create an enormous amount of volume, yeah. right? So um, anytime there's a hand-tied area, it's virtually impossible to, to tease it or do uh -huh. properties on it. So you can rest assured if you're looking at that in through the top and then through the sides, you're not going to get any of that. However, sometimes to build up the wig, to build up the form and not make it heavy by, by putting tons of hair in it, we will use some permatees in it. I actually, I don't know why, but I feel like permatees has gotten like a bad rap. In the yeah, industry. and I don't yeah. know why, because different wig constructions for different reasons. Yeah. It doesn't matter about price or cost. Some people love fully wefted wigs yes. with permatees for that reason, because for all permatees does is give volume. Yes. You know, and they normally work better on wefted wigs. Do yes. you know what I love about this, Frank? Is, is <laughs> tell my friend, this, this. I love that we've designed it with a bit of length at the back yeah. here. You yeah. know? Yeah, I just love this. Yes. You know, because some people don't want it cut off completely yes. you know and it's it's just nice especially for a bit of hair loss absolutely and you're going to notice there is no extended nape on this because we wanted to give it that yeah that graduated look and we, we didn't need an extended nape so yeah. a lot of times the caps you know they're not all made the same because essentially we're trying to create a style with the cap the cap contributes to the overall style so yeah. um sometimes we do an extended nape if we want to add some bulk or some volume in the back um all kinds of reasons you guys don't need to know all about that you just need to know that you look fabulous in it fabulous in right it. Yeah, and because you've got that beautiful hand tie top, remember, uh, if you're a wig salon um, and you customize wigs for your clients mm -hmm. or at home, I sent this to Carly and, of course, my sister, 
cut a big blunt fringe into this yeah. and it looked incredible. Well, yes. Yeah. And this one we're talking about like the true to life fiber. If you wanted to, you could take a round brush, round brush this fringe forward and then trim it up. So you could have a heavier, heavier fringe. If yeah, you to. this color. Yep. If I was going to let myself go gray, this is the color I'd want to be. Mm. You know? Thank God I don't have to make it for you. <laughs> I don't have no hair. <laughs> like, uh, I, I think it's nice, nice to know on this too that um, make sure you guys know that you can change the part around. Like if you're not a left part yeah, person, yeah. then change the part. But also it's good to know that when you initially change the part, like I've just tried changing the part here, it's not going to automatically do what you want it to do. You right. have to yeah. right. train it. Um, I Amanda, mean, one of my favorite Amanda, things. Amanda, that's a good point. Because yes. here's the thing, you guys, if anyone, you guys are watching out there, if you want to change the part, right? So you move the part over, okay? This is why you might buy a heat stylable fiber wig. Because what I would do is I would, if I want this part to stay, I would mist it with a little bit of water. And then I would take the blow dryer on medium heat with my brush and direct the hair that way, okay? So that's what we mean by customizing, right? Yes. It's, you can tweak it slightly to create a look that you want without having to worry, without worrying about destroying the fiber yeah. because it will accept mm -hmm. the heat another thing i use sometimes to change the part is a hot comb so i have a hot comb here yes. and it just adds a little bit of heat i don't put it through my whole wig because i don't want to ruin this really adorable style it has but i just add it to my roots and i make yeah. sure it cool sets in that position before i move yeah. it since it is still synthetic it still needs to have that cool set and then it's just going to stay so nicely in that place that you want it to be in so just, yeah, you know, 30 seconds ago, this was all over the place, but now it's already settling in really nicely. And it's, they're just really easy to work with once you kind of figure it all out. Yes. Yeah. I mean, traditional wigs with a, like a vibrolite uh, or a monocrylic fiber, you would have to steam to get the hair because it, you know, the heat would destroy it. So um, this does give you a little more freedom. And that's why we've added heat friendly fiber to the Gabor yeah. designer series. And to also answer, um, was it Diana's question? And that's why you can style them up to 350 degrees. Yes. <laughs> and you know what? Um, it's like, a, 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 Amanda, I'm looking at you now. Like, you've done about six different styles <laughs> in front of our eyes. I know. You know. So if you're thinking about just, you've never wore a wig before, and like, like Amanda said, you think it's going to be stuck in one style. No. Even with a classic bob, you can have so many looks. She looks a bit like Carmen now, my she does, the model, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. My girl, look. She does. I know. You know, I like big hair, so I'm all go. I'm no, all for it. I don't. Amanda, look, we're putting a headband in there. Yeah, you know, so cute. Look at the cute little headband. <laughs> That's what it's about. That's what it's about. Make these your own. Once you start to experiment, once you kind of like break out of the mold that everything has to be a certain way, I think you'll ease up and you'll you'll be more relaxed about working with wigs. Yeah. For anyone who's out there trying it, trying out. You're getting a lot of compliments, by the way, Amanda. Everybody loves the color. Everybody says that they said it looks like your own hair. They would never even know. Uh, thank you. It is way. a really natural piece. Like this lace front is fantastic. And um, also with these shadow shades, it's good to note too that there's always this little money piece in the front that help disguise that nodding in the front that a lot of people are scared about so that yeah. little money piece is gonna help um with the nodding so that you don't see those as much on your lace yes and for those of you who are out there i've also gotten some feedback now we're saying some people like roots some people don't i have gotten some feedback some people don't like the light highlight in through the front but you know what you can easily cover that with a little eyeshadow a little mascara and you can soften it up to blend it even a little better yes. so i think it's a flourish that we that we pride ourselves yeah. in, you know, yeah. because it just looks more um, groomed. Yeah, I had to give him one of those. He wanted that yeah. in the front. Like, uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I still have it. After it broke off, I still have it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, this is the Glamorize Always. Again, I'm showing this in the GF1488. This is the golden wheat. Kyle is showing it in the Arctic white, which is a new color, GF561001. And then, Amanda, you have... Shaded Cappuccino GS 12 slash 22 SS. Yes. Beautiful. All right, kids. Got it. Okay. Let's move on to our next gorgeous style. This is a mid length. You know, you know who you are if you like the mid lengths. Okay. Um, it's called Give Me Drama. Give Me Fever. I named it after uh, Kyle's Night Out. <laughs> <laughs> he always likes a little extra drama. Give, give Me Drama. Now, when we took this on the road, I've showed this to a lot of clients. Yes. Um, well, I've had a great response on this one. 
great yes. response because I love it. It's for our people who like a bit, who yes. like volume, but yes. it's also great for somebody who's got naturally curly hair. Yep. who will wants to brush out their curls. It's great for somebody who might have a perm in their hair, use hot rollers in their hair. Right. Or if you're a person who wants volume, yes. this is the one. This was not, we didn't design this for the shy, okay? Um, although it is very versatile. And Kyle's going to demo that for you so you can see how versatile it is just by styling it different ways with water and whatnot. This was designed for that person who likes a look that is stylized, that has some wave and some movement. And, you know, we styled it for our photo shoot with a softer bang, but a lot of volume. So don't, this is not for the faint of heart, but you know, it is very workable. <laughs> so cap design on this, we're going to show you. This has the extended ear to ear lace, as you can see. And then you're going to see a mono part. Now you're not going to see a mono part that goes all the way back to the wig. And the reason why that is, is because we wanted to create volume, right? So where you want volume, you put wefting. And that's what we did. We put a lot of wefting through this. This has a volume. This, where are my permatees people? If you're shy of permatees, this ain't for you. <laughs> <laughs> it's called the volume. But it does have some permatees. That's what gives it the hold. That's what makes the, the wig last right throughout the day. Yes, you know, absolutely. Um, well, I mean, if you want to curl in your hair yes. and you want body, you know, we have to put a bit of permatees in it. Absolutely. Um, remember, guys, that if you've never wore wigs before and you like a curly wig, for example, once we watch this, the fiber is heat molded, so this will snap back into place. Yes. So once you've washed this, this beautiful body will snap back and the curl. Yes. Yeah. I'm using my curl spray. I love this curl spray. I use it for everything. I, in fact, I'm always running out. I don't know why I can't seem to keep this in stock. I just have to get a case for myself, I think. Well, it sells like crazy. That's why. I know. Everybody loves it. And once again, our wet line guys, check it out. Um, really stunned. If you're going to buy a fabulous wig, make sure you get the product to go with it. Now, see, Miss Amanda now has completely yes. slowed hers down. Yes. And look at us, two old glass. <laughs> 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 Frustrated showgirls here. Look at the size on our wig. I know. I put it on and I'm like, oh my gosh, that's a lot of business happening it's on top of my head. So <laughs> it's, you know, now it's not as uh, not as big on me anymore. So I think it's adorable. I love it. There's something really glamorous. And yes. I think, you know, Gabor has always been, come on, Gabor, it's, it's, it's legendary. It's the Gabors. And uh, Lawrence, our head designer, you know, I suppose when Lawrence started designing for Gabor, you know, it was all very like yeah. this, very glamorous, very yeah. full. And it was the time as well, you know, when I started with Lawrence. But it's like, there's still people love this volume because it's very flattering. Oh, yeah. Listen. I love volume. I'm not. I'm not afraid to admit it, Kyle. I love it. I love it. And <laughs> well, like your mom could wear this. Well, you yeah, know, she likes. She back combs in a bit. Oh, my mom. Yeah, my mom. This is this is my mom's. You know, this is her wedding hair. She's got a wedding to go to, or yeah. uh, she just went to a big uh, a big dinner for my uncle. He was man of the year. My uncle. Oh wow. And my mom went to the dinner, and her hair was very woman of the year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you guys, I'm showing. I'm showing. Give me drama. In the in um what am I showing this in the GF sixteen twenty two this is our iced sweet cream this is that oh, beautiful yes. all over platinum color okay it's got like a hint of beige if you've ever looked for that true like Marilyn Monroe color this is Marilyn Monroe you know beautiful beige blonde a little touch of champagne oh speaking of yeah. On cue. Parched. Ah, Parched, yeah. Champagne blonde. Whenever you hear champagne, drink. Great. <laughs> yeah. Um, I've got the fabulous SS cappuccino color. So yeah. um, such, it's a true ash. Bro um, everything is like, I love that we've got these ash tones in it. You know, it's gorgeous. Yeah. But still 7 to 11 shade, slightly rooted. But look at this. Because I wet mine down and hand scrunched it. Can you see that lovely curl that's in it? It's really pretty. Yeah, yeah, I love that. Scrunch. Scrunch. We still stay scrunch. I don't know. I haven't found another word that's, that right changes no, scrunch. But that you, but, scrunch. This is it. I think it's that's it. the only word there is, really. There's no other option. Amanda, you might be too young to have, have used scrunch, but you but you know the word, yeah? Scrunch, yes, of course. Oh. Scrunch. <laughs> yeah. Such the ingenue. And you must have had a scrunchy. A scrunchy oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, of course. Yeah. I love scrunchies. You can't go wrong yeah, with the scrunchie. Amanda, million. do a little twirl. Do a little twirl yeah. for us, because I just think that looks so sweet on you. Look how she styled that, guys. You don't have to style it like Kyle and I. <laughs> you know. Cute little clip. 
<laughs> it's good. I love that you're using the accessories. Now, once again, because look, with Frank's, it's got that fabulous, it's got quite a lovely uh, yeah. broken fringe. And I'm bringing her down a little yeah, bit. Yeah, if you do want to do a Marilyn with it, look, because it's got the lace, we can take that away from the face. And then we get to see those gorgeous highlights yeah. through it. Really fabulous. But look at then, what I love is just the wispy fringe. Look, yeah. you just break that down. Yeah. It's so pretty. Well, and the, here's the thing. Again, we were saying this fiber in the Gabor Designer Series, I'm telling you, it responds with just a little bit, like just a little bit of handwork. You don't need to do a whole lot to this, you know? And that's what I love about it. I mean, I look, I like my hairspray. I like product. I'll never stop using it. I mean, unless, I don't know, uh, unless I can't use my hands anymore, but <laughs> I don't know. But I just love how you could just whip her up and you could just turn this into something that you know, in just two seconds. It's just a great fiber to work with. It, it, I, listen, I've worked with a lot of people, a lot of bio hair. I got to tell you, I actually like working with fiber more than hair now because yeah. it just stays. I don't have to think about it, you know? Yeah, it's so. true. And, and you know me, I can't stand working with hair. Yes. Give me wigs any day, you know? But it's uh, because it actually, it, it shapes. This is why I love True to Life. Yeah. It, it sort of molds with your fingers even. Exactly. Um, I'm using the, um, our curl spray once again. And look at this. I've given it a really good soak in just for the people thinking this is too big. And look, I give it a good soak. I give it a good soak in <laughs> and I'm just going to scrunch it down. Just take all that big volume out. Yes. Because there are going to be uh, girls and boys and whoever's wearing wigs out there yes. who got naturally curly hair like myself. Okay. You take the volume down. I'm going to take it. Up a notch. Yeah, do a Marilyn with her. Just for the sake of doing it, Kyle. Yeah. Okay. And um, you can make her, although she's very glamorous, you can still make her very contemporary yes. as well. You guys, give these wigs a shake. Like, I mean, I always take it by the nape and just give it a really good shake to let it air out a little bit. And if you like volume, okay, for those of you who like volume, hang it upside down, okay? There's a little tab back here. I don't know if you guys can see this, but there is a little tab back here that you can just put like a hanger through there or you can like just, you know, a paper clip and then put it on a hanger and just hang it upside down. And when it's resting like that, you'll be able to bring the volume out of it. So try that. Pretty. Yeah. Can you see what I've done with that curl spray? Now see how that, see how that natural curl pattern has come back? Yeah. You can just spritz it with water too. It's lovely. Um, Amanda, what color are you wearing? Because that is- Yeah, I was just going to mention that. Um, I'm wearing Shea Biscuit. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Yes. One of the most popular colors. So it's, it's a... It's got to be uh, any wig shops watching, any yeah. any blondes. Uh, just... Everybody loves it. You know, I got to tell yeah. you, I, I thought it was a travesty that Miss Kim Kardashian wore Marilyn Monroe's dress because it should be preserved. However, I wouldn't have done the little ponytail. I would have taken Gimme Drama in this color. Yeah. And if I would, I would have chucked her out on that yeah. red carpet at the Met Gala with this. Yeah. This is what she should have been wearing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That looks like common. <laughs> Call me, Kim. We'll work on that. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Look at that. Amanda's doing it there. there I'm, I'm giving you the volume that you guys love. <laughs> I'm yeah, like, go oh, on, Lord. Amanda. Otherwise, we'll just be crying. Get that volume in there. <laughs> Tammy wants to know, can you use mousse to get that really defined curls? Yes, Tammy, you can. You can use any product you want. I want to tell you guys something really quick because we always get this question about product and which product to use. The products that we design are meant to be used on fiber. The main reason for that is it washes out of the fiber very easily. It's got a pH balance and it's formulated to break down very easily with water, okay? So that's important because you don't want to scrub the product on yeah. your wig because you could end up damaging the fiber and damaging the wig. Yeah. So it's not just like repackaged product. I say this a million times. Um, so you can use professional products on your wig that you can get from the salon, but keep in mind, they're designed to be used on regular hair that is washed consistently and that has a cuticle. This does not, fiber does not have a cuticle. So we designed special products to do that with. So wash away in cold water. That's, that's what you need. The product is gonna wash away in cold water, not hot water. And most of the salon products need hot water. So. Yeah, I went off on a tangent. I don't know why, but no. I did. but look at this. <laughs> this look, this could be like a, my new yeah. our new queen. It could be the new queen. It's very Camilla. Look, very Camilla. There Beautiful. You go. Yes, it is very yeah. Camilla. Yes. Very Camilla. I'm the color. Yes, our new queen. I think most people are gonna enjoy this wig. 
in the very similar fashion that Amanda has it displayed right now. But yeah, <laughs> look at this gorgeous. <laughs> yeah. So once again, it has curl, it has body, it has volume. Mm -hmm. um, you might be a wig wearer who's wore wig for years and just likes your machine made wigs, uh, wefted wigs with lots of permities. Well, you can still get this, but you've still got those beautiful yes. natural features just in case you want to change it up. Yes, yes. Okay, real quick, because we're going to move on to our next one. Just for Lori, she wants to see this color up close. Lori, I'm going to take it off the mannequin. We'll do a little zoom shot on here. Not our um, Lori. This? <laughs> no, not our Lori. Oh. Well, our Lori, our Lori on Facebook, but not Lori, our makeup artist. Um, okay, so this is the color. This is the Gimme Drama. Again, this is the Iced Sweet Cream. It is a beautiful color. Again, no root on this one. GF1622. Kyle, bring yours in. There Let's you see go. that one. This, yeah. So this is the shaded cappuccino. If you've never seen a Gabor show before, when we say shaded, we just make them slightly smudged root to give it some depth. Sorry, I'm driving Sean mad there, my Sean. Yeah, there's some depth. <laughs> and you've got that natural, really beautiful regrowth. Come and in, then there you go. <laughs> there you go. Sorry. And yeah, shaded cappuccino, lovely ash, ash, dark blonde. And Amanda. We got Shaded hey. Biscuit, the GF1923 SS. So this is a really nice, cool. It even has some neutral tones to it, I find, to bring it down a bit. But it's it's one of the most popular colors in this line, yeah, for oh. sure. And of course, this really nice root that it has. So I always have people asking me, and I don't know why, but they're always like, why would you have a root coming out of your head like that? It's It looks so <laughs> unkempt. But... I find the rooting makes it look more natural, at least for someone like me, who's naturally a brunette. Cause I mean, yes. I'm not going to be at the salon every week to touch up my roots. You're always going to have a no. little bit of root showing, right? So yeah, I'm, I I mean, you can see my highlights here and you can see like my root yeah. area through there. But so. exactly. remember that people are, I mean, that I color my hair. I mean, don't, I mean, that's, that's natural. <laughs> people are, are paying to put roots in their hair. Yeah. yeah. So like my niece has got one color blonde hair. She goes and pays for roots. Yeah. So it's balayage is bang on trend. So anyway, yeah. if you don't like it, we got other options yeah. for you. So don't Absolutely. worry about <laughs> it. Don't worry about it. Um, is it Catherine? <laughs> Catherine asks a great question. Thanks for joining us today, Catherine. Hi, Catherine. She wants to know, what, how do we pack these wigs if you were going on a trip? Let's say you got a vacation coming up. You might take two or three wigs. Catherine, I have to agree. Catherine says she does hers in a Ziploc bag. And I'm going to say... Look, I Funny, I just got back from a trip and I have one like literally right here. Yeah. <laughs> and Look, that's bit. the most convenient way. Um, mm -hmm. But I mean, you know, I like to pack a trunk and put them on styrofoam heads and travel. Yeah, that go, go on on there, like. <laughs> <laughs> Old Hollywood style. Doesn't everybody have, don't you guys have four people carrying yeah, your luggage yeah, behind yeah, you? Yeah. I mean, come on. No, the Ziploc bags are a great way. Great way? How did I say that? Great way. Oh, that's, yeah. let, me let me untangle my tongue. I'm the same as you, Amanda, because I wear wigs all the time as well. And yeah. uh, mine get folded like this. And I just think it keeps the style and it keeps them flat. Yes. And then once you get your destination, open them up and hook them up. If you haven't got your stand, put them on a wine bottle. <laughs> yeah. and the yeah. ziploc bag helps keep it safe from you know zippers and velcro in your garments and all the yeah. other elements yeah. of your suitcase so it's a yeah a really easy way to just keep them nice and safe and organized yeah great question my friend yeah, thank that was you great all right so wait real quick sherry when i get to the next week sherry says will a brief hot water soak relax the curl a bit in true life wigs Yes, it will. That's why we tell you to wash every wig in cold water so you don't lose the shape and the style or the curl pattern. Cold water is the way to do it if you want to preserve it. If you want to take a little bit of the wave out of this wig, right, you could do it in hot water. The only thing I'm going to tell you is you don't know how much is going to come out. Yeah. A little bit might come out of the wave or a lot might come out and you're kind of, then you're kind of stuck. But because it is true to life fiber, if too much wave comes out, you can go back and recurl it. Yeah. And some people think because it's cold, I understand, I get it that you want it slightly warmer because it's going to be, you think it's like washing dishes. Yeah. You want to wash your dishes in cold water. <laughs> but if you just, you can use lukewarm water is fine. You know, yeah. just tepid water. Yeah. Start yeah. out slow, kids. Start yeah. out slow. <laughs> <laughs> we've, I mean, we've played with all this stuff. We have experimented right we know we know what it's like so we've, we've tried everything so we know what our boundaries are and we know what what we're doing to a certain degree that is predictable but if you're doing it for the first time just realize there's some room for error so all right ready for our next look we're ready for the next one the next look 
in the collection is Dress Me Up. You guys are going to love this. You guys are going to love Dress Me Up. I agree. Right? You are going to love it. <laughs> right, Amanda? This is the yes. quintessential undone bob. Here it is, guys. Look at this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Dress me up and take me out, baby. She's lovely. Take me out. She's gorgeous. Ooh. I'm so jealous because you know what? I have like, I have an extra, extra large head and I can't even wear these. And you girls, guys, anyone who's out there with an average head shape, these are all average. If you can get in these, you have, I mean, how many styling options? And Well, the thing is, Frank, oh, it's I great. think you don't want to, I think people with larger heads can wear these. It's not so much that you have a larger head, it's that your hairline is so low. Well, that too. Your wigs will fit, yeah. but your hairline is low. Yeah. So um, it's with me. When I was in the chair, I never, ever, ever didn't have one of these wigs. You don't know what fit. it's like to go up with this deformity of a head. You have no idea. <laughs> Listen, don't, don't, don't moan. You've got a thick shock, shock of hair there. Well, so you know, far, you'd be so far. you be quiet if you win. Yeah. Yeah. Let's talk about <laughs> I was just going to, since we're speaking of head sizes, I just thought I'd let everyone know that I have a petite size head. Like my circumference is 20.5 i have is it 11 yes i have 11 and a half ear to ear and 11 and a half front to nape so i do have a petite size head however um these all fit me fine like i can adjust the adjusting straps it feels and have you done that amanda to these have you yes. adjusted them down yes okay. i've been adjusting them as i go and okay. Since I am a petite size, there's always going to be a little bit of bulk in, you know, the rest of the cap. Yeah. Um, but yeah. for me, that doesn't bother me. As long as it fits me around my circumference, I am good to go. And with these adjusting straps, you can do that. So, you know. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. Easy. And then, Frank, you can show the strap, can't you? Yeah, I'll show the strap. I'll show the weight cap design. Let's take a look at that. So, you guys, you have here ear-to-ear -ear extended lace. Again, you could clip this up with a, a comb, a barrette, whatever you like. and then. We have a mono part. Look at this mono part. This one, again, extends all the way back. This goes to the crown. So you're going to have a very, very natural parting here. Very low density. It's going to sit flat and tight against the crown. So again, very comfortable to wear. Very natural effect. You have the personal fit cap. You also have the wonderful velvet ear tabs for comfort. This one does have an extended nape in the back. And of course, the Velcro adjusters so that you can open it if you need it a little larger and you can close it down if you need it a little smaller. Now, I want to address a question. Um, who asked this beautiful question? Delana. Nice name. Delana, cool. Gorgeous Hi, Delana, name. thanks for joining us. Um, can you brush or comb a wig when it's wet, if you've washed it? Look, a wide tooth comb, yes, you can, but you wanna start at the bottom and you wanna work your way up so you can just detangle the wig then let it air dry, okay? So you have to be very careful. And the reason why you might see these notices not to comb or brush, especially when it's wet, is because the wig is fragile and you can stretch the material, you can snag it, and you can also fray the fiber, okay? So, you know, we just want people to be very cautious when they're doing that so that they don't ruin their wig because you want to make these last as long as you can. I don't know a lot of people who are out running a wig, buying a wig like every three weeks, you know? So again, I'm doing a little curl spray, giving this a little boost because I want to like bring out some of this curl pattern, rake it through with my fingers. That's another thing you can do when you've just shampooed the wig is rake it through with your fingers to break it up so you get some of that tangling out. Yeah. You know, just be careful with them, guys, especially if you've got a beautiful hand. Remember, there's, there's a big misconception. None of these come off a co cookie cutter machine. No. These are all handmade. So the, the, all this base is hand stitched and the lace is hand stitched. So if you're having a top quality wig, just be careful with it. You know, treat it. I always put the analogy of, of your silk blouse to your cotton T-shirt. You know, just spend a bit yeah. more time with it. Yeah. You know, yeah. Um, I've just put mine like Amanda, really, because I just got it out of the box and I've ran my hands through it. I just wanted to show how beautiful and flat this can sit. Yeah. And then Amanda, I've been dying to ask you this. What is your natural hair color? Because you've looked good <laughs> in, every color. in every color. We knew it was going to happen, right? <laughs> I'm a bit what of a chameleon. I kind of blend into whatever I put on. My natural yeah. hair color is actually very similar to this. It's just a medium to dark brown, really. Yeah, because that yeah. that's making the skin, the teeth, the eyes pop. You know, I yeah. can't yeah. even tell someone's natural hair color. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> 
Awesome. So I am showing, this is again, you guys who've just tuned in. If you've been watching, this is the Gimme Drama. This is new to the Gabor for summer 2023 designer series. Um, I'm showing Dress Me Up in the SS Biscuit. This is a favorite. This is the GF 1922 SS. 24. 1923? 1923, yes. 1923 yeah. SS. Yeah. And I'm, um, I'm still with the SS um, iced cappuccino color. So it's a gorgeous color. Yeah. But remember, you've got that gorgeous smudged root at mm -hmm. the top. And like I've done, look, I just want you to just to show you guys how it is out of the box, really, because look at this curl pattern. Uh, me, Lawrence, Frank, Teresa, you know, we've we're yeah. designing like crazy way into the years ahead. <laughs> and we've, we're still bringing out this curl pattern because it's not going anywhere. Yeah, it's so fresh. I mean, look at Amanda. I mean, I turn to the profile again. Look at it's just got that undone waved look. You got a little bit of graduation in the nape, and then it sweeps down a little longer. You know, it's a little stacked here. You can't tell the man if you see on Amanda, and then it just drags down a little longer here. So really a true like kind of lob blunt oh, cut. You know, with and wave. in this pattern, I like how the ends are just a little bit straight. Like they don't curl too much at the ends. They kind of yes. straighten out just at the tips. Yeah, it's got that bluntness. Yeah. It's meant to look like you've taken your you flat. Tong. You yeah. call them tongs. We yeah. call them curling iron. Yeah, and then you twist <laughs> it and you just flatten it, you know, at the yeah. end. Yeah. Lush. So very fresh. Love this as a mid-wave. It's probably maybe, I would say maybe clavicle length. I wouldn't say it's just totally mid-length. It probably comes down, it probably graze everybody right at the clavicle. Yeah, beautiful. Um, but a beautiful style, very easy to wear, very fresh. I think this is pretty much a quintessential summer style. Yeah, you know? it's stunning. Absolutely stunning. Yeah. Never going to date. Um, I don't think, you know, days of the poker straight hair, they're still gorgeous, that poker straight hair, but we're still yeah. loving texture. Yeah. We're bringing out a lot of designs with curl patterns yes. and texture. And, and remember, this can be worn by anybody. Yes, and worn away from the face. Someone asked this, Teresa, oh, it's Teresa D'Estacio's with us. Hey, Teresa. How about Teresa? No, Teresa D'Estacio. Oh, yes, sorry. Our Teresa. He, when he says R, he means people who work with us. Yeah. I was thinking, well, I would Teresa. No. Teresa works with us in other ways. Yeah. In other ways. Yeah. Anyway, Teresa, yes, this can be worn swept back. You see they got the extended lace here. It goes all the way down to the ear tab. So very easy to be worn away from the face. Even the highlight extends down into the side. So you can feel very confident for that. Yeah. And I do some find for me, like whenever, do... whenever I do style it away from the face, I always tend to keep a little bit of those face framing um, pieces in the front just to I don't know I like it yes. better that yeah. way <laughs> well it's it's just more um it's more pretty isn't it you know it's more it's yes. more natural it's and I mean more... for anyone who's <laughs> ever concerned about lace showing I mean quite honestly this is a really natural hairline and you don't need to be concerned but if you are having those face framing layers in the front can help you um yes. with that insecurity for sure yeah yes. to start with Kate yeah. wants to know the million dollar question Kate wants to know, do, do these wigs, does this wig have permatees? Kate, it's got some permatees. Not going to lie to you, girl. Yeah. It's got some permatees. But, <laughs> but it's okay. The question it's right you. here. It's right here. It's a little bit to give it a little volume. Yeah. Don't worry, it's going to look pretty. No. Everybody's, yeah. You're imagining. I think a lot of people are imagining. And tell me if I'm wrong, Kate. I don't know. You're, you're, are you guys picturing like back combing like in the crown, like and seeing little hairs pop up? Is that what you think of permatees or permalift? or yeah because it seems to be the question du jour yeah like everyone's afraid of it yeah don't be I afraid think, yeah i think it's good to note too that a lot of wefted caps are gonna have permities in the wefting just right at the base um yes. and that even helps disguise the wefting a little bit so you know if the wind blows it's not just going to be like yes. your scalp poking through so a lot of wefted yeah. caps are always just going to have a touch of permities right at the the root but it doesn't mean that your wig is going to be this giant no. helmet on your head no, as a matter of fact, I mean, let, let's take a little closer look at this. I'm going to show you guys this wig, okay? This was the first wig we showed, which was best in class. And you asked if there was permatease in it. And there is permatease. If you look in the nape, it's right here. But it's designed to cover up those wefts. If you had wefts running all the way along here, you know how heavy and hot this wig would be? So in order to kind of diffuse that open area, we add permatease to the base of the weft so you get a little bit of concealment, okay? But as you know, we're putting this in the weft. On this wig, you saw how flat this laid against the back, right? So you don't, it's, even though there's permatease there, it doesn't mean it's necessarily lifting up the hair. 
So again, it's all about how you're using it. I know you've probably like maybe seen some like wigs that maybe you thought you could just see it point blank obvious. Um, we try not to produce wigs like that, and certainly not anymore, because you know you all wouldn't wear them, and neither would Amanda. <laughs> so, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, Amanda, I think... you're pretty honest and open, girl. If you look at your page, I mean, you you talk about it all, so you would. Yeah. You would say. I think there's so many different styles out there that need that little bit of permatease to help yeah. make the style what it is and without that little bit of permatease it's just going to fall flat and just, it's not going to exactly. look great so yeah. i think we need to break the barriers of the permatease and not be yeah. so there's a stigma that definitely but some yes. of my favorite wigs of all time have permatease yeah. back yeah. you know yeah. and then, and that says you know she says well I, she says well, i think let me from right lynette what what you're referring to is what bothers you is like when you're looking at the top of a wig and you can see it and that you're going to find probably with fully wefted wigs in the designer series there is always a mono component there's a hand tied component and what you need to know is even if we do have some wefting in the top where there is some permatease let's say in this area where there are wefts you're going to have this mono area where the wig is designed to part it's going to cover that and you won't see it anyway and that is going to look very natural so you don't have to be concerned about it yes but beautiful bob i can already tell that this is going to be a smash for us you yeah because people are loving it and um like i say um i've shown this around to people and this is not going nowhere it's going to be beautiful and imagine this in gray whatever age you are my mom could wear this she's in her 70s my sister yeah. could wear it. I could wear it. It's a stunning bob. And when Kyle says he's shown it around places, he means he's worn it out places. Yes. That's what, yeah, right. You get reaction. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a great one. Love it. Absolutely yes. love it. So this, you guys, that we're looking at is dress me up. This is not the last one. We got another beauty for you. So for all of you out there who love the long ones, you know I like to go short to long. I'm going to change it up one day just to like fool you all, but. But we got a beautiful one coming up. The next one we're going to be looking at is called Ready For It. Ready oh, For It. Oh, and before we move on, I think it? I forgot to mention my color. Um, this oh, is gosh, yes. yes. This is Shaded Iced Java. So this is oh, GF4. Oh, my favorite. Yeah, GF4 slash 10 SS. So it's going to be like a dark brown. And it's going to have some really subtle uh, light brown highlighting in it. And it yes. is a shadow shade, but... I find the thing about shadow shades on these darker colors is it really just means that the highlighting starts a little bit lower down. So yeah. it's almost All like right. it's a, a little bit of a grown out look, um, yeah. Yeah. but it's a really nice natural yeah. color. Yeah. And that, that color that, that you're wearing, Amanda, too, for anyone who's not familiar with it, has a very ash highlight in there. So it's so mm -hmm. natural. If you don't like red, that is the dark brown for you. It's highlighted, but it's, there's no red in it. Yeah, I don't know about you, Amanda, but this is one of my, I think it's one of the nicest browns I've I seen love this one. in a way. Yeah, yeah. 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 I've Frank designed these uh, ash tones, and this is one of my all-time favorite browns yeah, ever. Yeah, me too. If I my hair didn't pull red, that's what I would want it to yeah, be. Absolutely yeah. stunning. Well done, yeah. Frank. <laughs> well Go done, you. Frank. Thank you, Looks fabulous on you, too. You went from blonde to brunette. I know, and I can't think which is good, but I can really see that this is you yeah yes this is cool. home for me <laughs> yeah 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 okay my next completely my next color goes in a completely different direction so that'll be exciting. okay so she's gonna all right amanda's gonna show us a completely opposite look so you guys ready for it this is ready for it this is the longest one that we're launching for gabor in the new summer 2023 designer series if you like long tumbled wave then hold on to your hats because you're going to love Ready For It. Going to love it. Love it. Absolutely love it. I um, I wore this out the other last week. As soon as it came out, I wore this out. If you look onto my Instagram, KyleKane123, follow us, follow us all. Yeah. Um, you can see me on this. I got a video of me wearing this. as um, I put it on and mm -hmm. I blend out a little bit of my sides with this. I wore this out and it's just how I would um, want my hair blown yeah. out you know yeah he had worn it out and then we had to go back the next day and pick it up <laughs> <laughs> left it in the bar <laughs> no it's a great one it's the ultimate um long isn't style. it right yeah it's, it's pretty right it's pretty it is elegance it is glamour it is is everything that you would go to a salon and pay for but it's gonna hold its shape for much longer than the salon style would right yeah 
Let me talk about, let me take this off and talk about construction before I get too in the woods with it. Um, so Ready For It also has a beautiful construction to go along with the beautiful style, all right? So what we have here is the ear-to-ear -ear extended lace, right? You're going to notice you have a lace front, right? Which is a stretch lace, which really, you know, holds tight to the forehead. And then this beautiful hand-tied area, you guys. So again, another lovely hand-tied wig, parting options, uh, free-form movement. Also, you're going to notice, again, reinforced wefted right in the crown. This is going to give you that little bit of bump. So it's going to lay flat in the front, but give you a little volume into the crown. And then, of course, our personal fit cap with all the adjustments that you have come to love and adore. And adore. <laughs> yeah. Great wig. Great, 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 great wig. I love this curl pattern. I just love it. I think it's flattering. It's youthful, it's pretty, it's sexy, it's just yeah. gorgeous. I love that Amanda's sort of taken hers out of the box and you really get to see the curl pattern. I brushed mine through, just raked it through because yeah. I like that soft romantic yeah. sort of wave to it. Well, okay, you know what, Kyle? Someone asked me, not here, but someone had asked me before, like, why did you take that wig and brush out all the curl? And I'm like, I kind of like that I softer kind of waved look now if you if you don't i mean you'll get this wig it'll come with a curl pad in it just miss it with a little curl spray or um or, yeah and scrunch it up a little bit and you'll see you'll be able to to have a more of like a spirally look to it yeah that's that's kind of how it comes but i like the softer look i think it's a little more trending and it's more know. romantic it's more flattering yes i think don't think many people can wear that polka straight center part in Hair, you know, um, yeah. you got to be, you know, slightly younger, unless you share, of course. But it's um, what, this what is hand got, hair wear. yeah, but this is beautiful because it's layered, it's got slight layering around mm. the face, because like Amanda can, can wear it back like that. But look at this, Je just dream gorgeous right? hair. Oh, yeah. I don't. I mean, look. If you have extensions, you know, you can get this beautiful look, you get this volume. But if your hair is finer, you know how hard it is to try to get this, this look. This is a wonderful style that you can travel with if you want to, you know, be out at the I said be out at the beach all day or whatever. If you're going somewhere on vacation, but then you want to get like ready for dinner, um, just throw this on. It is right? done in. And another thing, too, a lot of my um I love hair extensions, you know, as long as they're good hair extensions. Yes. Um they are brilliant, but some people want to give their head a break. And then somebody who has full head of extension all year round, great lens, and then just wants to um, phone me up and said, look, I'm going to give my hair a break. Absolutely. And it's a great one to put on, you know, yes. if you just want to, maybe you can't get to get your hair extensions done. This is a great one to pop on. Right. In between. In between. You know, and you uh, can pull this half up and half up, half down too. Um, my mannequin is <laughs> slipping. Sorry, guys falling off but you have that extended lace in the front so this can come off the face you can pin that up if you like amanda show us what you're doing over there you got that wrangled up in a cute little pony yes i love ponies <laughs> this okay. is the one thing i miss the most about having my own hair is like pulling my hair back and off my face so knowing i can do that with wigs too is just a dream come true really so <laughs> i just have an cute little low pony um and i, mean, I always make sure ever would you ever know that's not your hair? I would never know that I mean, was no. not your hair for right? you out the mall or. Right. I know. Anytime I ever tell, I'm like, I'm almost to a point where I'm too open about my wig wearing where <laughs> someone, you know, comes along in the grocery store and they compliment my hair and I'm like, oh, thanks. It's a wig. And I like take it off and show. <laughs> and it, um, I mean, it startles them every single time. And they're like, oh my goodness gracious. They don't know. People yeah. don't know. And I think that's the one thing that a lot of people are concerned about, that if they go oh, out, wait. people are going to be inspecting their hairline and, you know, taking a good look. But everybody else is so wrapped up in their own world. They do not think <laughs> exactly. to even. Yeah, we're all so self-centered. We don't care about it. Right, they, right. <laughs> they don't think to look at your hairline. That's the last thing they're going to do. They're going to look in your eyes and talk to you yes. that way. And then yeah, it's true. It's they'll true. only know if you tell them, really. So the only thing you get, Amanda, if you found this, is people normally ask you, like, wow, who, who did your hair color? Or yes. how did you get your hair so glossy yeah. looking? Or, right. you know, compliments more yeah. than it. That's what you get. 
And exactly. speaking of hair color, Amanda, tell us what color you're wearing. Yes. Oh my gosh. This is such a great color. This is shaded iced pumpkin spice. So GF 29 slash 33 SS. Is that what you got there too? That's what I'm showing too. I'm showing the shaded iced pumpkin spice. Amazing. I love this Mine color. is right in front of a, uh, it's like a shaded window. So this is kind of a natural light you're going to see on it in comparison yeah. to more studio lighting. Okay. I guess. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Kyle, which color are you showing? I've got the fabulous SS Honey Pika. That's gorgeous. You love this color. I love don't you, color. Brian? Yeah, well, can you tell? Yeah, uh, it is. Yeah, it's this is a stunning color. Absolutely yeah. stunning. And it's got all these beautiful white face framing highlights and low lights. It's got the shadow shade. And I just want to show you just next to the shaded cappuccino, you can see it's yeah. just got more depth and depth. Um, definition absolutely and yeah. you know you guys these wigs come in the grays too so if you want a long gray wig don't i mean don't think twice they're available so you know there are, i'm finding more and more women uh and, and men too yeah. are letting their natural hair grow out and they want long silver hair of course um, and it's so cool looking i think and yeah. it's so like i don't know something edgy about that in and of itself um, that when it's styled beautifully can look so like opulent and sophisticated. I kind of really like it. Yeah. Top tip, guys, if you've never wore a long wig before, um, you, my, the best tool ever, especially with curly hair, is your hands, yeah. you know? And yeah. before you ever take a brush to this, just sit for five minutes or two minutes and just slowly rake through it yes. with your hands. Look at this. Just, just this is, you know, just break. Take some of those little bit of knots out before you take any brush to it yeah the great tip yeah yes oh sorry <laughs> <laughs> didn't know you were standing right there kyle Just tell me to stop frank <laughs> tell me to blast him in the eye mm. you know, there you go yeah just <laughs> that's a top tip because do not please do not no take a brush to this break up the fiber with your fingers look at that curl pattern yes guys. i know and so brushed out kyle just reactivated that i mean Lots of options here. Again, you're going to get that flat, flat top from the mono area, and then you're going to get a little bit of bump here, which easily can be brushed down. So don't don't be nervous if you don't like the bump. You can bring it out or you can bring it down. That's the beauty of these is the flexibility with the styling in it. So yeah. And I do again, find that this piece in particular, it's quite lightweight. It's not a heavy wig at all. Like I am not overwhelmed with so much hair. It's a pretty natural density that um well, is quite comfortable no color. it's true and you know why that is because we could put few wefts in it because before you all ask no one's asked yet because this does have some permatease <laughs> yeah. as we were saying before your permatease is right here to cover up those wefts and to make sure that it's nice and light so you're going to find a little permatease maybe in the perimeter maybe in the nape to give you that density and to, to give you that nice coverage back there. But otherwise, you're right, Amanda, this, for, for the amount of hair and the length of hair, it's very light. Is that hair, yeah. can you see how good that hairline? Yeah. It's great color, this, huh? Yeah. It's a bit dark, but I just but, want to... You know, you look good in that color. I don't know why you would have to have those that white hair all the time, but that is a great color <laughs> in you too. Yeah. You do great look color. good in that color, yeah. Right? I agree. And you know what, guys? If you're on the fence, if you're between two colors, you know, try two. I don't know. Or get think of like one is like your summer color, like a lighter blonde for maybe summer. And then, you know, you could do like a darker color for fall. And then you're constantly, you know, you're changing it up a little bit and it always feels fresh. So so think about that too. It's nice to kind of switch off within a certain range. You know, you could do like a real bright red and then sometimes do a more muted red. Yeah. You know, I think people overthink it, don't they? Because people don't think nothing about going changing their hair color right. twice in a month right. or going highlight, but they think, and I can't change the wig, but you just got to think of it. It's just like changing your hair. Color. Absolutely. Yeah. So you guys, these are the five styles in the Gabor designer series. I'm so glad you joined us today to see them. <laughs> and, you know, again, Check them out. Go on a flip snack. Um, check out the catalog if you're interested. You've got to see them in person. You've gotten to see this. Look at Amanda. Look at her gorgeous in the ice pumpkin spice, wearing this beautiful ready for it wig. So for your, your clients or for yourselves, if you like long ones, check this out. Some short ones too that are just adorable. And I think I think it's I, oh you got little look at it. Look at oh, Coachella. Oh, yeah, Coachella. <laughs> Coachella. She's ready time. to go. Yeah. <laughs> so you guys. 
We have to announce our winner. Thank you all for asking questions. But today's winner is, but I'm, but I'm, are you getting me drum roll? Thank you. Today's winner is Caitlin. Caitlin, a thank you for joining. And thank you for asking questions. And just reach our people will be reaching out and you can pick any one of the styles you saw here today in any color you like. Yeah, congratulations, Caitlin. Please tell us which one you chose. Please send us personal pictures. Yeah. And um, by the way, follow us all, guys. Amanda will give you the best confidence ever. If you've just sadly thought it's sadly going to be losing your hair, me and Frank are there. Ask us anything you want if you need help with wearing wigs. Absolutely. You guys, if you just jumped on and you missed the better part of the program, you can jump onto YouTube. It'll be posted, I think, in a day or two. So you guys, please join me in thanking Amanda. Miss Amanda Hoblack from Shequel Hair. Thank you Amanda, so much for having me. You. This was a lot of fun. Oh my yeah, gosh, thank you're you amazing. for sharing your story. Thank you. thank you for continuing to inspire others through your Instagram page. Um, and, and just for being you and just for getting over the hurdle, as we talked about her earlier. And Yes, and it is, it is a life. hurdle. But if anyone's out there going through that hurdle right now, just honestly, keep going. And one day it's yeah. going to be okay. And you're going to look back and be like, why was I so worried? Yeah. Wasn't that Winston Churchill? When you're going through hell, keep on going. Keep on Absolutely. going. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> and I want to thank, uh, we got to thank the back, Chris, amazing. And Sean, thanks, Sean, for his... Um, Cin cinematography yeah. <laughs> yeah i'm loving the new yeah fantastic indeed. yeah all right guys thanks for the happy hour yeah cheers everyone. thanks amanda yeah <laughs> thanks everybody See you cheers soon. everyone cheers, cheers. <laughs> bye cheers <laughs>